Well, hi everyone. Welcome to the warehouse. Um, I literally had to come early and do a tour myself because so many things have been onboarded and everything's been rearranged and we got new shelving and I don't know where anything is. <laughs> We're going to start off here. This is Icelandic Plus, a company that we absolutely love um, for their sort of single protein uh, treats and chews. Um, a cotton lobster, that's a double actually, but it's mostly seafood. So great stuff for omega-3s. And these can be used for cats or dogs. Our dogs and cats both love the Cape Lynn, the cotton lobster bites. These are pretty hard crunchy. So if you have animals with no teeth, they might struggle a little bit with, with chewing these. Um, our guys do okay with them, even the ones missing some teeth, but they are a little bit hard. Um, and then we also have the rolls in both short and long. Gwen's over there, Joey's over there, so I don't, anyway. But this is rolled up fish skin and it's real hard and it takes them a little longer to chew on those. They do smell fishy if you have spaniels, put their snoods on, otherwise you're gonna have fish in their ears. They also have the wolffish um, skins, which these are look more like a jerky type treat, but again, they're hard. So it takes a little bit of chewing on those. And then redfish rolls and uh, cod skin rolls, which are basically these rolls, but in slices. So it's a smaller piece. Um, and then they have the little tiny whole, oh, these aren't that tiny, the whole fish herring. They're about the same size as the Cape Lynn. So they're about as long as my index finger. Um, and then we're gonna have some smaller fish later on. And this company almost also makes the, um, lamb horns, which we really like as sort of a longer chew. They have some marrow in the middle of the, oh, some little bit. The uh, smalls do, the, the smalls large do. Okay. So they come in small and large. This will take your dog a while to chew on. They are very different from antlers. I'm not a fan of antlers. Antlers are really hard. And if you have an aggressive chewer, they will break teeth and destroy teeth on antlers. These, and the difference between a lamb, uh, between a horn and an antler is that a horn is actually made out of hair. You can see there's still some on there. Um, so these are a fiber, uh, a hair fiber that breaks down. So it softens up a little more and it'll chip off. Again, be very mindful of your dogs when they're chewing these. Some dogs that are very aggressive chewers can break teeth even on these. So you have to know your dog's chewing um, awareness and how they are going to chew. So for some animals, you can't give them anything hard like that because they'll just destroy their teeth. Uh, these are the long cod skin rolls and you can see those are, those are pretty, pretty good size. So for the bigger guys, they take a little bit longer. These are gonna be, uh, break down to be a little softer than the horns would be. And, and for the smaller dogs, you can, you can break those. Too. Yeah, you can. Um, well, even the big ones, uh, your dog was at our house and ate about ha half of one and then left it behind and our dogs were like, yay. Um, and then we have little itty bitty shrimp. The, the kitty cats really like these, but these are good if you're just looking for a, a quick little um, reward for something without a ton of calories, but still a good omega-3 source. All right, we'll come around the corner. There's lots of new stuff over here. I'm gonna start at the bottom. So Vital Essentials is a, a raw company that we like a lot. And one of the reasons we like them is that uh, they are prey model raw, so if you have animals with allergies, this works phenomenally well as an elimination diet. We carry rabbit and duck. They make other proteins, but the rabbit and duck are, um, the rabbit in particular is more hypoallergenic and makes a really, really good um, trial. Thanks. So a lot of times if I'm doing a consultation and people don't want to be making their own food, they want something that is complete and balanced, this is a great way to go. Just add warm water, you're done, it's easy. Um, and it's worked really well for a lot of uh, pets with IBD and allergy, food allergies. So we also will we'll move up. We brought in uh, Mount Capra products. There's more on the next shelf. Uh, but this is a just easy to digest goat milk protein um, and it's fermented. So it is basically fermented goat milk in a dried form. You can add water back to that, or you can just mix it in with their food. But particularly if you have animals who are having a hard time maintaining weight. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I took this home for Stewie because he's really struggling to maintain weight and he needed some easy to digest protein. He hates goat. He won't eat goat meat. He wouldn't eat the goat uh, protein either. So didn't work for him, but 
for animals where you're trying to get a little bit of weight, you want a little bit, bit of extra protein, and the fermentation in there also helps with gut health. So it's a really phenomenal product for that. Right next to it, we have the WinPro Gut Health. And this one Stewie will eat, and he's got uh, protein losing enteropathy right now because of his advanced heart disease and the medications he's on. So I started him on this, well, one bottle ago, so a month and a half ago, um, seeing really good results. I'll talk about a couple of other things that I added for him, but he actually likes this. He'll take it as a chewable treat. Um, so I've been really happy with that. And then they also make an allergy product. Uh, so these are based on a um, porcine plasma, which is a pig blood product. That's, uh, and they call it K-Thrive. It's their formulation of how they're processing it. Um, but the allergy one also has nettle, quercetin, and bromelain. The gut health, I believe, has, pro, uh, has licorice and marshmallow uh, in it. So very, very soothing for the gut. So that's been really helpful. Um, okay, we'll move up. Uh, we talked about this not too long ago. We found these at Global. Under the Weather is a, a company that I really like. And so we brought in the L-Lysine Chews for kitty cats. You could use them in dogs too if you wanted a lysine supplement. But kitty cats are hard to medicate, so having a chew that they will eat to get this in is really helpful. It's used mostly for herpes virus, upper respiratory infections. So lysine is antiviral, so pretty helpful. Um, and then we also got their urinary support chews for kitty cats because again, really difficult to pill cats, but if you have a treat that they'll take, uh, makes it a lot easier. So it has cranberry extract, D-mannose, and N-acetylglucosamine um, because uh, somewhere around here we have um, Cosequin for cats, which is a glucosamine, and we have really good evidence that that soothes the bladder lining for kitty cats with cystitis. So I was very happy with that product. And then this is a brand new one, one TDC, and one's moving. This is a, a a fatty acid source from cow, but it's because it's a fatty acid source. It, if you have an animal with a beef protein allergy, they're not allergic to this because it's a fatty acid. Um, and it can be used for two different things, for oral health and also for joint health. So if you're using it for oral health, you're actually gonna break open, it's got this funny little um, tab on the capsules. You break it open and put it directly on the gums. If you're using it for joint health, for mobility, then you're just going to feed it to them. Um, so that's a, a new product that has great science behind it and great reviews behind it. Okay, so next shelf over and we only have 20 shelves to go. Uh, PEA, most of you should be familiar with PEA. We have it in 120 count and 60 count. It is an anti-inflammatory that works on the endocannabinoid system. So we first got started with this for our uh, animals with syringomyelia and uh, caudal occipital malformation, which are two neurologic diseases that are very painful. So being in the Cavalier world, most of them have these diseases. This has been phenomenal and it has allowed us to get our dogs off all their medications, their gabapentin, steroids, anything along those lines. So I've been really happy with it, but we've been using it for allergies, um, gut inflammation, all, ki all kinds of uh, joint uh, mobility issues um, because it works on the endocannabinoid system and it has been really helpful for pain relief. I'm very happy with that product. Um, I was taking that one, but I switched over to a different one that we'll talk about a little bit later for myself, because that is a human product that we're using on the animals. So you can take it yourself as well. If you have joint pain, nerve pain, anything like that. Um, in between those, we have dog on pain or DGP, which is an herbal pain relief and, um, joint support. It can be used in dogs and cats. Uh, and it doesn't taste bad. Most animals will take it as a treat as a chew tab. Uh, but you can give it to them however you want to. So very, very good for um, mobility issues and pain issues. Coming down below, um, there's two colostrum products on this shelf. We have the um, Colostrum 38 K9, which is a beef or cow colostrum. And then we also got a goat milk colostrum. Technically, those with a beef allergy should not have a problem with the cow colostrum, but for those who are concerned, we also got a goat colostrum, which is a little more similar to dog milk than um, the cow milk is. So both kinds of colostrum are available. And then we also have, um, for those of you with a lot of dogs, 
or uh, you're going through a lot of colostrum, we do have this in an equine. So it's a, just a much bigger bottle. You would dose it the same as you would this little one. Um, but you can, I use the big jar because I go through a lot of it for my guys. Um, this is one of my new favorite products, the Sun E, vitamin E. We also have a vitamin E supplement for horses. Most horses are uh, selenium and vitamin E deficient. So uh, it's a liquid that's really easy to add to their food. But for instance, when we were balancing the Riva, Viva Raw, the, the incomplete diets, mo almost all of them, or all of them, I think were low in vitamin E. So this is a really easy way to supplement that rather than having to uh, buy, you know, sesame seeds, flax seeds, use other oils. Um, this is actually a sunflower oil derivative. So I really like that. Um, and actually my guys, no matter what diet they're getting, they're getting extra vitamin E uh, for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. Um, Symbiotic K9, this is a soil-based probiotic. We also have this for horses. Um, and so what we're recommending is rotation through your probiotics. And I really like this one and it's a liquid. So if you have animals that uh, don't do as well with the powders, they pick it out, you could mix this in. I'm gonna take one of those home today. I'm due for a change. It also has chaga mushrooms and humic and, acid. Thank you. It also has chaga mushrooms and folic and humic acid in it. So um, really like that product a lot. Okay, I'm gonna come down below. UC2, I think we don't use this one near enough. I learned about this uh, in my pain management course that I took. Um, it was an alternative pain management course. UC2, again, a human product from now. They're a great company, uh, great sourcing. It, UC2 stands for ultra collagen. So this is a collagen product um, that is really, really good for supporting our joints and the cartilage in our joints. So again, something else to layer on for either um, joint protection or treatment if they already have arthritis. So if you have an animal, let's say you have a German Shepherd, you've had x-rays, they've got some hip dysplasia, they're not showing a lot of symptoms, go ahead and start them on these support products to bring their joint health up. The, if you are proactive with that, it is much better than being reactive. And so a lot of the things that we carry are for those reasons, we're trying to be proactive. That's why we recommend uh, twice a year exams and blood work because we wanna be proactive. The UC2 also is pretty palatable. It's great for cats. You can open the capsules. Oh yeah, um, you use it on your kitty cat. Yeah, I use it on my kitty cat. He's all hunched over and arthritic. So I use UC2 and PEA with him. Perfect. Yeah, because again, you can open those and sprinkle them in. Yep. Uh, we have melatonin. Uh, so most old dogs are uh, low on melatonin. We make it in our pineal gland um, in, in the brain and it doesn't work as well as we all age. So that's why a lot of older people take melatonin to help sleep. Uh, but melatonin has a lot of other functions in the body besides sleep and circadian rhythm, um, one of which is fighting cancer. So supplementing with melatonin and if you have dogs with Cushing's disease, you absolutely wanna be using melatonin. Um, so the melatonin dose, we have it in our Cushing's blog, but for the smaller dogs, we're usually three milligrams twice a day. For the bigger ones, six, six milligrams twice a day. But I've even seen uh, some recommendations, particularly for cancer, up to 12 milligrams twice a day. Uh, CoQ10, we have in a couple of different sizes. We have a 200 milligram and a 60 milligram. And we have great blogs on CoQ10. You know how fanatical I am about dosing CoQ10 appropriately and using higher doses than what most veterinarians recommend. It is an antioxidant for heart support, joint support, brain support, eye support. I was just writing a thing on eye health today. CoQ10, absolutely need it. All right, this is another new product, bee pollen. So for those of you who've been following me and you understand TCBM, if you have a Jing deficient animal, just think forest, little forest, uh, a Jing deficiency, bee pollen is phenomenal for that. That's one of the things that you absolutely, you know, I'm just gonna start my little pile of things that I'm taking home today. You're shopping. I'm shopping while we're going. Um, so bee pollen is just great for immune system support, uh, kind of evening out the immune system and helping it to respond appropriately. But also for those with growth deficiencies, you know, um, born with any kind of, um, uh, any kind of deficiency or genetic defect, bee pollen is going to be really helpful for that. Allergies. Allergies is really good for that. Let me make my little eye over here. Okay. Um, moving down, this is another one that's fairly new and we haven't talked about it near enough. So when I said Stewie had protein losing enteropathy, uh, lack of appetite, getting very thin, this is one of the things I also added on. L-glutamine is phenomenal 
for gut health and gut support, digestive support. Um, and it has some cancer fighting properties and this is a powder. So I just sprinkle it and mix it in his food. He doesn't even know it's there, but between this and the WinPro gut health. And then there's one more thing that I added on the next shelf over, I believe. Uh, we've seen great improvements in uh, how he's doing with all of that. So I love the L-glutamine. Taurine, now that we've had all these discussions about dilated cardiomyopathy, grain-free diets, yada, yada, we know that many animals, cats and dogs are taurine deficient. The great thing about taurine, there is no toxic dose. So if you gave this whole bottle to your dog, they, maybe they'll get a little soft stool, but it really is not toxic to them. They just pee out the extra. Um, so really happy with taurine. Um, and uh, we use it as a supplement because of the heart disease. Even though our dogs are on a really good heart healthy diet, some dogs are not processing and, and utilizing the taurine as well. So particularly if you have golden retrievers, it's recommended that you have them tested. I had one golden retriever who needed 12,000 milligrams of taurine, even on a high meat diet, he just was not utilizing it. And that's what it took to get his levels up. So we, we know there's an issue going on with golden retrievers right now. So if you have one, think about adding that. NAC, this became very difficult to get because of COVID. It's been, uh, it's not available on a lot of uh, sites anymore because <laughs> politics said we couldn't have it, but it is phenomenal as an antioxidant, great for cancer fighting. But what it's real um, use, it's used for um, congestion and phlegm and lung problems, breathing problems. Um, so it dissolves phlegm. I use it for Stuart. Stewie, he's my problem child. He's on it like everything. Um, so because he has glue ear. So if you have dogs who have that inner ear glue and they've got a lot of, uh, it's that's basically like a gel that fills up the inner ear. You would only know it because your dog is deaf and you had a, an MRI or CT scan to actually see it in there. Very common in Cavaliers. Um, so the NAC helps dissolve that glue. So he takes it. Um, beta cetosterol, oh, this is one that I take. Um, so this is a plant sterile. So this can be used if you have an animal who has to go on steroids for allergies. So if you know allergy season is coming or they need a little extra support for their limping and gimping, um, it helps lower cholesterol. So I take it for limping, gimping, arthritis, and also <laughs> lowering cholesterol. Um, so they call it uh, cardio aid as plant sterile because this is again, a human product. Um, and uh, it's plant-derived compounds, structurally similar to cholesterol, so it helps limit the absorption of cholesterol from the digestive tract. So if you have animals with high cholesterol or you have high cholesterol, it's a good product. So I like that one a lot too. All right, we'll come around the end. You can see my animals and I are, you know, shopping all the time. So uh, Vital Cat, which is part of Vital Essentials, they make these little cat-sized treats. You can use them for your dogs too, particularly uh, small dogs. But we've got just freeze-dried, Chick, uh, chicken breast. We have freeze dried little tiny minnows, which are so cute. Little rabbit bites. And then we also have little duck liver pieces that are freeze dried. So if you have a really tiny dog, you know, those little kids who are under five pounds and you want just a really tiny treat that's easy for them to chew and digest, these might work really well for them. I'm gonna start the kittens on this. <laughs> I, I took some of the green juju home for the kittens. <laughs> kittens. Okay, so now we're getting around to our RX vitamin shelf. Um, the RX vitamin D test kit. These are the old ones, right? Yeah. So we're going to do a whole thing on test These kits. are leaving. We're getting new test kits, but this is uh, an easy way to, uh, you do have to take this to your veterinarian and have them draw a blood sample, but testing vitamin D levels, which we recommend at least twice a year, particularly for older pets, but really for all of them. Um, all right, Aminovast comes in two sizes. One has a cat on it and one has a dog on it. It's basically the cat one is for dogs or cats, 10 pounds and under. The other one is for dogs or cats over 10 pounds. This is an amino acid supplement for kidney failure. Um, very palatable, it's a sprinkle cap that you sprinkle on their food. Cosequin for cats, I talked about, it can be used for joints or bladder health and it's a sprinkle capsule that sprinkles over their food. We also have RX Renal feline and canine. 
So the, this is an herbal support for kidney disease for dogs or cats. Uh, and the cat one we now have in what they call little beadlets, but this is more of a powdery form and this is a capsule form. So depending on how you want to dose your kitties that are so much fun. Um, we have RX essentials and minerals for both cats and dogs. And these are for balancing homemade diets. So the um, kitty cat one, and these are whole food supplements. There's nothing synthetic in these. And the uh, feline essentials also includes taurine in it because we know that's very important in their diets. The minerals is for our calcium content. Um, so down here we have bigger ones, which are the RX essentials and minerals for dogs. So those are very popular for balancing homemade diets and easy to do. Okay, RX Zyme is digestive enzymes. Nutrigest is a combination product. So this one has probiotics, L-glutamine, which we talked about on the other side, uh, cat's claw, ginger, FOS, Oregon grape root, um, psyllium, licorice, folic acid, vitamin A, aloe extract. So it's just very soothing for the gut, but it has some probiotics in it as well. That's more like an inf inflammatory, inflammatory bowel. bowel right? yeah. uh, immunosupport, this is um, shiitake mushrooms and uh, arabinogalactin, which is uh, a polysaccharide uh, as the prebiotic. Um, so uh, this is for immune support. You can use it for dogs and cats, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. So for those who have uh, particularly kitty cats, I use this one a lot in my practice for cats with like chronic upper respiratory problems, things that kept repeating on them. Uh, Cranberry RX for bladder health. Bio C, which is a vitamin C supplement, excellent for arthritis, uh, cancer. Um, it's an antioxidant, really good antioxidant. Uh, the thing with vitamin C is you dose to effect. So if they're getting a soft stool, back off on your dosage. Nutricom is herbal calming support. And this one, I believe, is the yeah, tryptophan and L-theanines and valerian. So this is, uh, tryptophan is the thing that's in turkey and milk. So that's why you drink a warm glass of milk before bed and it helps you sleep. Um, so that's a capsule form. All right, this is Stewart's other edition is B, vitamin B12. So one of the things that we can test for with these test kits, besides testing vitamin D, we can test B12 levels. Almost all animals with any kind of chronic bowel disease are going to be low in vitamin D and low in B12. Vitamin D, you can get in trouble if you over supplement. We have that right next to it. Vitamin D, you have to be a little bit careful. You don't wanna use human products. They're too strong, you'll put them in kidney failure. So we do recommend testing their vitamin D levels before you supplement. All of our dogs get vitamin D supplementation. They're small dogs, they only get three drops a day. So that tells you, you know, how little you need to use for some of these dogs. Um, but the B12, I added that in without testing because it is water soluble. They'll pee out the extra. But I knew because he was having so many GI issues and his protein levels were so low, he's having absorption problems that the B12 would help. So the L-glutamine, the B12, and the WinPro gut health has made a huge difference for him with his protein losing enteropathy. All right, um, RX Biotic is a probiotic. Uh, it needs to be refrigerated once it's opened. Um, so that can go into your rotation. Amino B-Plex, George is on this right now. This is a B vitamin and iron supplement. Um, let's see what's in here. It's an amino acids, uh, a bunch of B vitamins. That's basically it. Um, so George came back as being slightly anemic, which he has a habit of doing. I don't know why. Uh, he's also prone to stomach ulcers because he's a nervous Nelly. Um, so he's been on this to help with that. So if you have animals who are prone to anemia, if you have autoimmune hem hemolytic anemia, it's great to use. I would use B12 and amino B-plex. RX clay is just a binding agent for those who have diarrhea issues or soft stool issues, you wanna get them bound up. This I would use for travel. Um, for my guys who I knew would get a little bit stressed out with travel, might get a little bit of travel colitis. Start this 24 hours before hitting the road and it uh, stops the problem from occurring. Formula CV is uh, a cardiovascular supplement. So heart supplement, if you have uh, animals with heart disease, uh, can be used for dogs or cats. We have hepato support, which is liver support for both dogs and cats. Uh, basically, we've got milk thistle in here, D-almethionine, choline, and some B vitamins. Use those in practice for many, many, many years. 
All right, and then back to our kidney issues, we have Fosbind. Um, these are for dogs or cats. The only difference in the two is the size of the bottle. So for tiny kids, you can use the little one. If you have a bigger animal, you definitely want to go with a bigger one. So this is a very, very smooth, soft powder. Really doesn't have any, I've tasted it, really doesn't have any taste. Um, I believe it's aluminum hydroxide, yes. Uh, but it's for binding phosphorus. So if you have animals in kidney failure that are in stage three, stage four, where we want to uh, get those phosphorus levels down, this is what you would use. So they take it pretty well usually. <laughs>